Hello and welcome to Mr. Henry's Music World. In today's lesson, we are going to discuss how to make sense of all of these white keys on the piano. Did you know that there are two million white keys on the piano? Oh yeah, it's true. Two million white keys. Ah, let me just count them here real quick. Let's see here. There's one, two, three, four, five. Hey, Mr. Henry, did you say there are two million white keys on the piano? Hey there, Mr. Quarternote. It's Mr. Quarternote. Well, uh, no, I, I didn't say that, uh, did I? Pretty sure you did, Mr. Henry, and I'm pretty sure there are not two million white keys on the piano. You wouldn't even be able to fit the piano in your home. Hmm. Yeah, right. Uh, guess that's kind of true, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, of course. Well, um, yeah. We will learn today how many white keys there are on the piano, not two million. Plus, we will get to play a fun game to help you remember the letter of each white key on the piano, and of course, get to jam along to a fun tune. Oh yeah, excited. Are you ready? Let's get it started. Hey there, let's go. Let's be First, we are going to learn about the white keys and the musical alphabet. The musical alphabet doesn't use all of the letters found in the English alphabet. The English alphabet has, uh, how many letters do you know? Hey there, sorry to interrupt, but I just wanted to tell you about the free mini piano course for kids ages six through 10 for the complete beginner, which offers video lessons, practice sessions, printable resources, games, and more. Oh, and if you're above the age of 10, no worries. I have another program that is perfect for ages 11 to adults with a seven day free trial. Check the description box for details. It's totally free. Okay, back to the lesson before Mr. Henry gets upset. If you said 26, then you are correct. And like I said, we do not use all 26 letters in the musical alphabet. Let's check out how the white keys and musical alphabet works. Roll it! The musical alphabet. Before we get to the musical alphabet, let's talk about the English alphabet. Of course, we have 26 different letters. We use a combination of these letters to make the words like M-U-S-I-C. Hmm, what's that spell? All right, music. With our English alphabet, we can make a zillion words which are found in the dictionary. With all of these words from the English dictionary, we then create sentences. You know, like my most favorite sentence of all, I love playing the piano. With these sentences, we piece together paragraphs, and voila, we have books that tell stories. Very cool. The musical alphabet kind of works like the English alphabet, except we only have seven letters in the music alphabet, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Instead of making sentences, we make melodies and harmonies with the music alphabet called a musical phrase. And with these musical phrases, we then can create an entire piece of music. Let's take a look at how the keyboard layout on the piano and the letters in the musical alphabet connect. Yeah. Our letters in the musical alphabet are found on the white keys on the piano. As I just mentioned, there are only seven letters in the musical alphabet, but there are a bunch of white keys on the piano. Actually, there's 52. Wow. Wait, 52 keys on the piano, but only seven letters in the musical alphabet? Hmm, how does that work? Okay, let's get a closer look at the very bottom of the piano where the lonely black key lives. The lowest white key note we have is an A note. Okay, so there is an A note at the very bottom. Next would be a B, 
C, D, E, F, and G. But look, we have a couple more white keys in this example. What notes would they be? Huh? What? Huh? What? Once we get to the G note, we would start all over again with the musical alphabet. Therefore, the next key would be, drum roll please, the A note. If that's the A note, the next key in this example would be the letter B. Cool! Since there are way more white keys than music letters, we simply repeat the music alphabet over and over again to give each note on the piano a letter. As you can see here, the delivery truck is dropping off letters A through G to the exact white key. Pretty cool. Since the music alphabet repeats itself, that means many of the white keys will have the same letters. For example, these white keys right before the sets of two black keys are all C's. Sometimes people call music the universal language, which is a fancy way of saying that no matter where you are in the world, no matter what language you speak or write, the letters found on the white keys will all be the same for everyone, which really is pretty cool. Let's review. The musical alphabet has seven letters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There are 52 white keys on the piano, and each white key gets a letter name. Since there are only seven letters in the music alphabet, we must repeat the music alphabet over and over again. Oh, yeah! Sweet! So now we have an understanding that there are 52 white keys on the piano, but we only use seven letters in the musical alphabet that repeat over and over again. Let's get to the piano to play a few games to help us remember the white keys on the piano. Here we are at the piano, and first we want to find the A note. Now we learned that our musical alphabet only has seven letters. So first, we will find the A note. The A note um, is mixed in with the set of three black keys. So the A note will be actually after the first two sets of black keys. We have the set of black keys here, all three. And right after this set of two is the A note. Now, once we have the A note, we can then start to use our musical alphabet to find the other notes. So here we have A, and then we'll go up to B, C, D, E, F, and G. So what I'd love for you to do is to find the A note, and if you could say the letters out loud, as you were playing each one. And you can use your left hand with finger two. So we have A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Try that along with me, here we go. Ready, and. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Awesome. Now, once you get to the letter G, we just repeat over again. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Awesome. The next challenge, what I'd like to do is to see if you can do it backwards. So let's do this first. Let's find the C note. The C note is right here. I like to think of the C note as right before the set of two black keys. So let's find this C note, and then let's go backwards in the musical alphabet. So we will go 
C, then B, then A. Now this next note, we have to make sure that we go to the G. Because remember, the musical alphabet only goes A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So for here on the A note, we're going backwards in the musical alphabet. The next note has to be a G, and then it would continue going backwards to the F, to E, to D, and then C. So what I'd like you to do as a super challenge is find a C note. Maybe we find this C. It's the one right before the set of two blackies. And practice on C, saying the letter C out loud, and then go to the B, and then A, and saying it out loud as you were playing it. So you're going backwards in the alphabet. And just make sure when you get C, B, A, when you get to that A and you're going to go to the next note, that is going to be the G note. So these two activities going forward, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and backward, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C, it'll help you get more in tune with the letters on the white keys. So give that a practice. Awesome. Great job identifying the music letter names of the keys. Okay, we are just going to focus on three of the letters found in the musical alphabet for the next activity, the C, D, and E note. Let's roll the video to help us identify where these notes are, which prepares us for the next game, and jam along. Roll it! Notes C, D, and E. We just learned about the white keys on the piano and that each key has a letter. But now we are going to focus on just the C, D, and E note. To help us learn about the C, D, and E note, we are going to go on an adventure. The Animal Keydom Adventure. Get it? Instead of kingdom, we're saying keydom? The first animal begins with the letter C. It's the cheetah. The cheetah hangs out on the white key right before the first black key of the sets of two. Did you know that the cheetah is the fastest land animal on the planet? 68 to 75 miles per hour. Pretty cool. The next animal begins with the letter D. It's the dolphin. The dolphin hangs in between the sets of twos. I like to think of the black keys as mountains and the D note in the middle creates a valley of water for the dolphin to live. Did you know that the dolphin is considered very intelligent? Super sweet. The next animal begins with the letter E. It's the elephant. The elephant roams on the white key after the set of two over the Black Key Mountain and back on land. The elephant is the largest land animal in the world. Wow! Okay, so a little bit of review. We just learned about the C, D, and E note. So we will find the C, D, and E on the piano and that will lead us into playing along with the song hopping on C, D, and E. And the reason we're focusing on C, D, and E is because of what we will see coming up in the next lessons. Uh, those are the three notes that we will be performing a good bit. But let's get to the C, D, and E note. So the C, the cheetah, is right before the set of twos. The D is the dolphin, and the way we thought of the dolphin was it's in between the set of two black keys. And the two black keys could be looked at as almost like a valley, and then there's water in the middle, and that's where the dolphin lives. 
And then on the other side of the mountains on land is the E for elephant. So we have C for cheetah, D for dolphin, and E for elephant. So these three notes, what I'd love for you to practice is seeing if you can find all of the C, D, and E's on the piano. There's actually going to be a whole bunch of them. And uh, there's a hint. One is kind of hiding. Uh, and I'm going to tell you which one that is. So all the way, if you were to go all the way up to the top of your piano, the key that is at the very tippy top is a C note. You'll hear it all the way up here. That's the C note. So that one's kind of hiding. But what I'd love for you to do is just take some time to see if you can find all the C notes on your piano and see how fast you can do it. Remember, you want to find the C right before the set of two black keys. Then do the same for the D note. See how fast you can do it. Remember, the D is in between the set of two black keys in the valley with the water. Find them as quick as you can. And then you can do the same for the E's. The E's are right after the set of two black keys. And that's where the elephant roams back on land after the mountains. So take some time. See if you can find all the C notes. Are you ready? Set? Go! Did you find them all? Okay. How about you find all of the D notes? Ready, set, go. Awesome. All right, now let's see if you can find all of the E notes. Are you ready? Set? Go! Okay, now I think you're ready to play along with the tune hopping on C, D, and E. So, let's get to the video. Roll it! Hey, let's go! Time to play C, D, and E. Don't forget the hopping motion, it's easy as go, go right me. How about we get ready to use finger number two? That's the point of finger you know by now, cause that's how we do. First note we are going to play is the popular middle C. Get finger two ready for this hip hopping song and play along with me. One, two, ready, play. Oh yeah, 
let's keep this piano party rolling. Here we go. Next in line, the dolphins win, and that's right, it is the D. Hanging in the middle of the set of two, right, right next, next to middle C. C. Now don't forget that hopping motion again, let's use finger two. Let's play the D note to the steady B. Come on, it's up to you. One, two, ready, play. Today is you know who, the elephant music no E. It's the note right after the set of two. Take a look and you will see. Again, let's use that finger too. Rocking the keys today. Learning the piano is so much fun. Get set, it's time to play. One, two, ready, play. Nice work. Parents, please visit the description box to sign up for the free mini piano course for kids ages 6 through 10. And for those above the age of 10, try out the seven day free piano group trial. Both options are totally free to take your piano skills to the next level. Thank you so much. Like, subscribe, and share the music fun. I'm Mr. Henry, and I'll see you in the lessons.